Hello, what's going on everybody? Casual Yugi Stuff here bringing you a product review video. We will be reviewing Strictly Sealed's Arcane Sleeves. Now, huge shout out to you, Mr. Omar, Strictly Sealed. You're an absolute legend, my friend. And uh, I'm doing a bit of a review here of your sleeves uh, and for the greater public to figure out whether they should buy these or not. Now, it's going to be difficult because I love the guy. I think he's really cool. So it's going to be a little bit biased, but it's for you to make up your own decisions. We are going to be showcasing some cards within these sleeves. Now, these are all in random colorful sleeves. We've got ultimate rares. We've got OCG. We've got some supers like a blue eyes. We're going to be whacking in some alternate art rush dual cards into these sleeves and seeing whether they are actually any good. Luckily, you can buy these if you are in the UK or Europe, not just from Canada. So my favorite color is these beautiful purple here. So uh, these are the only ones that actually came in the in the bigger size because everything else is Yu-Gi-Oh size. They do two sizes. If you're a like, Pokemon fan, you can use these for Pokemon or any different card games. But primarily, we are kind of more Yu-Gi-Oh based here on the channel. So I'm reviewing only Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the video. Remember, if you want to pick these up, you can do that from Cardboard Concierge. So they sell these sleeves in partnership with Strictly Sealed Cardboard Concierge. And remember, if you want to help me out, help the channel out, use the code CASUAL5 for 5% off any order. So that's enough talking, let's get straight into it. I'm going to start with the light blue sleeves. All right, let's open this up and uh, and see what these look like. So just do a bit of a review of the box. Really nice, really uh, shiny. I like it. Very simple, but also uh, effective finish with Strictly Seals logo there. So uh, without destroying the box too much, which I always do when I open up stuff, let's take out these sleeves. Uh, these are the uh, light blue color. So, oh, you get two packs of sleeves in one box. So they're 50 and 50. That's interesting. Didn't know that was the case. Um, yeah, I really like this kind of ultra pro-y vibe that's going on here. Um, first time ever using one of these as well. So this will be a genuine review. Uh, feels feels pretty pretty good. Feels Doesn't feel cheap or tacky. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to sleeve up. Let's sleeve up our blue eyes. White Dragon, which is somewhere here, I think. There we go. Even though this isn't an, an, an LOB Blue Eyes, it is still a, a Legendary Collection kind of Blue Eyes. And I think for the blue sleeve, we've got a sleeve up of Blue Eyes. Uh, let's see how that looks. So there we go. And I like how they are a little bit bigger than the tight fits that uh, Ultra Pro do. So there's a little bit more room left and right. So it really does frame the card nicely, which is good. Beautiful, yeah, no, that looks that looks really, really top notch. So very happy with the blue eyes, white dragon. Yeah, the sleeves they do feel they do feel really good, and there's uh, a lot of them as well. Wow, <laughs> that really is blue. Are all these patterns on here different? Yeah, they are. So that's really cool. They're not like every sleeve is the exact same. They're, they are different. They're cut from a sheet, right? So, but there's going to be different kind of patterns. So yeah, no, that's really, really funky. Not every sleeve is going to be the exact same, which is good. It gives some unique feel to each of these sleeves, but. Uh, Wow, yeah, so far so good. I'm really liking the uh, the blue ones. Let's let's try out another color. Second color is the white sleeve. So let's see what these look like. I'm really happy that we have availability within the Yu-Gi-Oh market to pick these up now. Like I say, um, they were quite expensive. The Ultra Pro versions of these like when they when they look like this. So let's see what card we shall put in the white. I think I've got an idea of what card I want to sleeve up. We are probably going to sleeve Stardust Dragon. Um, I kind of wanted to do it in a green as well, but um, hmm, what, what should we put in the white sleeve? Let's put in a um, let's put the Cyber End Dragon. Why not? Because it kind of looks silvery on the on the borders. So let's check out this Cyber End Dragon, guys. Let's pop it inside of the sleeve. So this is a alternate um, extended art of Cyber End Dragon. So let's see how that looks in here, shall we? Oh man, wow, that looks really nice. Maybe a purple would have been good on this as well, but no very very beautiful and then yes let's open up some green for stardust dragon ghost rare shall we really opening all these sleeves up guys big big order <laughs> but i think i purchased it well i was given every single color so feeling really lucky to have all these sleeves to trial out for you guys and um i don't know if there's a limited amount of prints for these but there should be an unlimited run so they will be more available if they ever do sell out i believe so this is my ghost rare stardust uh, has a little bit of a ding somewhere under the name. There it is. But hey, it's still first edition and pretty decent condition. A little bit scuffed, but let's leave that up in here. Because what you don't want to do is when you're putting in a card into a sleeve is catch the corner and damage it. So how does that work for these? Okay, it went in pretty well. 
Um, so there's Stardust in the green sleeve. That looks really nice. Yeah, that looks really good. I do like these guys. These are these are nice. It just gives a little bit of colour to your sleeves as opposed to, you know, let's have a look at a flatter sleeve that I've got here in, in, a, in, a, in a sleeve, you know, this pot of extravagance collector's rare. It's just in a blue boring sleeve, you know, this ulti is just in a clear sleeve. Um, big white sleeve there. It, doesn't, it all depends down to whatever you like. So for example, Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger looks so much better in this sleeve, right? Reflecting the amber uh, yellow topaz color, uh, not amber mouth. Sorry, topaz is different, isn't it? Um, to the amber mouth, but you could have all your crystal beasts in different sleeves. That'd be pretty cool. So, for example, if we whack in Zephyr Pegasus into a deep blue sleeve, that looks so much nicer. Now, look, Zephyr Pegasus and Topaz Tiger. Yeah, wow. Really, really cool sleeves. Really, really nice. I do like them, but we do have to review. Uh, all kinds of rarities. So personally, one of my favorite common cards in Yu-Gi-Oh is Pyramid of Light. Um, I would want to put this in maybe one of these color sleeves. I do like matching my traps and my monsters just to the color as well. So these are the pink sleeves. So let's see that how, how that looks as well. So very, very nice color there. Oh, wow, this is really nice. This might be my favorite. Oh my God, these pink sleeves are sexy. Wow. Yeah, really, really cool guys. Literally, yeah, lots of different rarities there they are. Top notch sleeves, I'm not gonna lie. Quality, I'm gonna give them like a nine out of 10. I don't think there's anything that's making these feel cheap at all. Um, they, they do feel good. I like how they're a little bit bigger than the actual tight sleeve. So you do have some uh, space to, uh, you know, to move around the card at the top and it probably looks nicer in a binder, which we're gonna show you right away how these look in binders. All right, so let's show how these look in a um, darker background in terms of sleeve. Looks really good. Let's put Stardust Dragon in next to our Tiger. That looks good as well. Yeah, they fit really comfortably, really snug. And the blue eyes as well. I think the blue eyes just look good, doesn't it? Because it's obviously blue eyes, but... Yeah, no, very, very happy with how they look on the, uh, the darker background binder. But if we put them in the Strictly Sealed binders, which are these ones right here, these are the, uh, the zip binders by uh, Strictly Sealed. This is actually a, a side project I'm working on, guys. This is my uh, Secret Rare binder. So if I just give you a little bit of a sneak peek into the Secret Rare binder, uh, that'll be coming one day soon, I promise. If we go to a page where they don't have any cards inside, which is probably going to be here, uh, nice crisp white background. Uh, let's start putting cards in, shall we? So let's put the same Topaz Tiger in the middle, just to be fair. Uh, beautiful, so you can see that there. And we've also got Stardust Dragon next to it, which would go here. And we have that Blue Eyes White Dragon, which would go here. Now they look uh, they look, look really good, guys. I'm not going to lie. Very colourful. You can have a lot of fun colour coding your sleeves. It's always good having options. So remember, if you want to pick some of these up, use my code CASUAL5 on Cardboard Concierge if you're in Europe or in the UK. But if you're in Canada or probably the US, you might want to go to Direct Strictly Sealed. But if not, uh, like I say, just use the code CASUAL5. Pick up some sleeves, guys. These are awesome. These are really, really cool sleeves. And I hope you enjoyed this little product review. This was Casual Yugi stuff. Stay safe when trading, playing, and collecting with nice sleeves and Yu-Gi-Oh! cards and ciao for now. Peace.